The Young Thug trial has taken a bizarre and sad turn. Jaden Myrick, who is Young Thug's co-defendant, is getting a separate trial after a mental evaluation. The evaluation found that the 23-year-old affiliate struggles with schizophrenia. Myrick was diagnosed with schizophrenia after telling a judge it had been months since he's taken his prescribed medication. He also stated that he wanted to represent himself due to having political friends in high places, which raised eyebrows. He was quoted saying, I'm not a regular inmate, he said in court. I'd be with Joe Biden and Donald Trump and they'd be talking to me. Donald Trump is going to get me out. Obviously, Joe Biden and Donald Trump have nothing to do with this guy, so he's either schizophrenic or he's pretending to be schizophrenic. These statements, of course, prompted the judge to call for Myrick's mental evaluation, which led to the judge ruling that he was going to be separated to his own trial. And this isn't the first time it's happened too in this trial. Listen up. I think we started with like 25 people or something on this trial, and it's down to 10 people because of little bullshit things like this. Myrick's charges include attempted murder, possession of a weapon by an incarcerated individual, conspiracy to violate the rico act and participation in criminal street gang activity and this is where it gets even more interesting we all know why finn lucci and young thug have had a big beef over the years jade and myrick the guy who has schizophrenia is the guy that stabbed wife and lucci a little over a year ago and on top of that he's accused of killing someone in the ysl trial so this guy is a goddamn savage so he actually wasn't accused of murdering someone back in 2018 he was convicted of it and this is the story that happened right here it's fucking crazy family members sat in the courtroom wednesday morning they asked people to wear red in honor of Christian. He was waiting for an Uber with his family after a wedding last July at the Capital City Grill when four young men allegedly pulled up and robbed them. According to court records, Broder tried to reason with the men when Jaden Myrick allegedly shot him in the stomach. Broder was a restaurateur in Washington, D.C. with a wife and young child. He died from his injuries two weeks later. All four young men are now charged with murder in his death. Jaden Myrick was just 17 years old when he allegedly pulled the trigger. I mean, you gotta be an evil fucker to murder a man in front of his children. And three years before that, he committed an armed robbery when he was 14 years old. So this guy is a goddamn savage. And recently, Young Thug's lawyer Brian Steele filed a fourth motion for him to get bond, but the last three have been denied because he's a flight risk, apparently. Which we all know, if Young Thug actually got on bond, he wouldn't actually fly anywhere. Like, he's not a fucking idiot. They're scared of uh, witness intimidation and stuff like that. They don't want witnesses to get fucked with. Apparently, Thug is also sleep deprived still. Thug's lawyer was quoted saying, Mr. Williams is not a risk to commit a crime. He's not a risk to flee the jurisdiction and that's what the bond is about so yeah that's a quick update on the young thug trial if you're new to my channel subscribe from my twitter and instagram follow my new snapchat on the screen right now peace out boys